Alrighty, welcome back. Aiden's in the house. It's Tuesday. Um, I did not leave that for Aiden to weld up. I said, I put it on. I can weld it up. So I laid down there and got it welded up. And uh, I still have to grind it yet. That's another day. But what I am going to do today is I want to keep going around the bottom of this truck and trying to get it finished. Because I want to sand the blast this thing by the end of the week is what I'm thinking. So what I've got here is I've got the, the pan for up the front. Uh, what I want to do is I want to get Aiden to help me put it on. Hey, you got any knee pads at all, Aiden? Mm. He got no knee pads. We had some knee pads. Well, let's get a mat over there if you want. There must be a mat over there somewhere. Um, here, I'll give it. I'll put this down. I got a mat right here. I'll use this. We're just going to put this pan on the front, and we're going to see what happens. Uh, the old headlights are still there. We got the new headlight doors on there right now. I've never had this piece on yet. Uh, I just I just made a little uh, key dolly there to try to fix this little piece here, but we're not there right this second. I want to stick it up underneath there and see see what's going on, how it goes on. You go on your side, Aiden. You can see you can see where it's bolted on the bottom of the fender here. See that? Oh yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna line it up the best we can. Is your fitting at all? Mm -hmm. Close. Needs to be bent in a few places. Yeah, just around the sides. Alrighty. Yeah. All right, this is what I'm gonna try to get you to do, Aiden, or this is what I'm gonna get you to do, old buddy. Okay. Let's grab up. Let's grab some. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Let's grab some nut and bolts and try to bolt that up in place. And what I'll get you to do it with is these little little heads on these on these uh, nuts here. Take them washers off. Well, you leave them on, I guess. And we'll put them on like that. Whatever the side the nut fits the best. We'll just try to nut them up. We got a bunch of them right in here. Dun, 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 right here. All these little ones right here. Use them suckers, bolt them on. You get it bolted on the best you can. No, not that one. I'll let you dig them out. You can dig them out, whatever you need there. Actually, I'll well take a couple myself and help you get the other, start the other side. Anyways, that's enough for me for right now. Right. We'll just try to set this thing up in place. And all I want to do is just try to get it fit in the best I can. And then we'll see because we, I don't know what we're doing here yet. I'm thinking we might just weld this all the way around on the front of this. See what happens. Let's put it up in there. We got a hole to here, fix here. Might, might do that off. We'll see what happens. But let's bolt this on and see if we can get it somewhere close. And what I'm doing this for is, is if I do this and I get this put on, then I know that the bumper I use, or the original bumper, I can use the original bumper. I don't really want to get modifying the bumper right at the present moment. I've, I think I've modified enough, is what I'm thinking. I think I've modified enough. I'm going to go down through or up through, does not matter, but do not tighten it up. You know, just make it hold it. Do not tighten it up. And the reason I'm saying do not tighten it up is because there's so many other, you know, so many other holes that have to be filled. So it'd be nice to be able to move it around to get where you're going. Awesome. Awesome. So now if I have this piece on, <laughs> I'm thinking uh, I haven't had, well, then again, the original bumper might not go on. It might not. I'm not sure. Uh, not sure if the original bumper goes on on this body line right here, if it just comes on the face of this. I have no idea yet, uh, but we're going to have to find out before we can start plugging it on. If we bolt it all on, then we can weld it all the way across here, weld it all the way in through here. Okay, good thing. No worries. She's looking after me, boy. She's looking after me. Jolene's looking amazing today. I'm down here looking up. Looking good. All right, so he's just bolting that on there like that. I'm going to, I was gonna do some grinding, but that's not gonna be the case today. I'm just gonna go over here on the other fender. I'm gonna cut that piece out, get that piece ready to rock and roll. I pulled Ford markers out of my pants this morning and I never put them back in. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna replace that. I'm gonna get a piece of, piece of Bristol board. Let's check it out and get a piece of Bristol board and cut that off. Right behind you. Oh, didn't put the scissors away. Bum, bum, bum. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to go get the front bumper for this. I don't know where the bumper fits. We could also do a little investigation on other cars and see if what happens here. Don't know. Never had the bumper on the car. Uh, dog bell just went off. <laughs> Gates up. So we're trying. I'm just gonna cut a piece off this, makes it easier. I generally like a straight edge when you start with, and that's my straight edge there. It gives you something to go by. If you do not have a straight edge to start with, it just you're, you're right off, right to the get go. You start, you're guessing, and uh, I like to guess after I have a little bit of a little bit of uh, information. That's when I like to guess with a little bit of information. If I have no information, uh, the guessing does not <laughs> doesn't go that good. My straight edge. Gotta be careful, slap myself like that. Somewhat like that, just like the other side. So we're gonna have to move that around a little bit to get those plugged in there, are we not? Yeah, just the, the end to the, the outside need. edges. I noticed that because I was playing with that this morning and they were not they were not that nice. They were kind of bent up. So I was playing around. That's why I made that T dolly. And there's what we'll use for the for the fender. We'll use this here. It's got a pinhole here. But we're gonna end up cutting that off anyways. Let's get a piece of metal cut. <coughs> nice little straight edge on that piece of metal. I'll take it. I always start with it. Just nice to have a straight edge to start with. cover but it's almost dead anyways I, I, I can push that for any time you want something pushed or moved to make it fit for you I can do that All right. I got that I got that crooked I did And what's going on? How many we got now? What we got left? And uh, there's just the two on the ends that need to be bent in. Okay. Right on. Let's do it. I'm gonna bend. Which side you want? Bend in first. This one? Uh, yeah, just need to grab another bolt. Okay. Let's leave that right there. Try to leave this in the right spot so everybody can hear what I'm saying. We've watched a few videos that of hours that are not good sound, it's hard to deal with, is it not, sweetheart? Uh, probably just as hard to listen to or watch as it is for you guys. Oh, we're almost at 100,000 subscribers, Aiden. Huh? We've only got a few left, man. I'm, I'm excited for the... Yeah, no. yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for Jolene and the YouTube station. She's worked hard to get it where it's at. And, uh, I think that has a bolt in it, doesn't it? We're gonna, we're gonna be able to get it. If I take a screwdriver, I'm gonna take a screwdriver and uh, do it that way. Uh, I think there's something jammed in that one. See what I mean? Okay, that's why. There, this one doesn't yeah. have anything in it. But it's got a, a nut in it already, a bolt in a nut already. All right, what we're gonna do is we'll go to the other side. Let's go to the other side. We'll just wait a second. 
I'll get a zip cut and cut that out. This side can go in then. I'm thinking it can. I'm just going to stick it in the hole here. One, put it in this hole and then pry them together if I can. Can you put that? Uh, yeah. Oh, did, did that work, Aiden? Yeah. So you can do that next time if you've seen something like that, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'll just like a screwdriver and join it in there, man. Right. Now, I don't know if we're going to... So you got another one? Yeah. All right. Let's see here. <sighs> Woo! Got her. <laughs> All right. Is that... Yeah. Good. Awesome. Cool. Wow. Well done, Jeffrey. Well done. All right, we're going to have to cut that one out of there, I see. Uh, we've got a full face shield right there. We can wipe it off. Wow, it's some dirty. That's got thinner on it. No, it hasn't. I'm going to go underneath there and cut that off. Instead of the spark splashing me in the face, I'm going to try this helmet. Thank you very much. Jolene color coated the, the grinders this morning. There was a concern we didn't have enough cords hanging around, so we decided to put them all together. <laughs> In all her glory, she's gone. All right, let's do the same thing, man. All right, grab another bolt. Yeah. Still going good? All right. Makes a different look. Like it ha that pan, I've never had that pan on the car. And uh, it really. Yeah, gonna have to get it up in there. See what happens. See where the bumper goes. See what, see what's going on. Hmm. Ready to rock and roll? Ready to go. Can this one go in or can that one? We'll just do the exact same thing. Yeah. Can hold up in the front of that? Yeah, that's good. Just a little bit. You want a pair of vice grips to vice grip it together? Yeah. It just needs to be pushed this way more, but... Just a sec. Just in case you need them. Say, what do you want me to do? Push in towards you? Yeah. Yep. Okay, perfect. Awesome. That was easy. Yeah. All I had to do was listen. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Ooh. Okay. Got a nut on it? Good. That's pretty good. You must have nimble little fingers. You get everything off. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's good. This mic's around my neck. Not excited about this mic, but. Uh, da -da -ba 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 -ba. I think what I'm going to get you to do is I'm going to get you to tighten it up. All right. Uh, start. I'm going to say. We'll get the your wrenches. I think if they're half inch, you you'd want a socket, and uh, you can do it with air if you want. Or I don't know if you better get the air on. To be honest with you, probably a socket and a wrench. So a half inch wrench. I'll grab you a socket. All right. That my. You know why them don't fit? 
him with a hammer. Bum, bum, bum. Blind as a bat. Pick up the same one I just had. Just so. Nope, it fits. Half inch. You've got a wrench. So, I guess what we'll do, uh, there's one there. You might need, you'll need another one there. We'll get it all, we'll get it all, all the bolts in it, and then we'll tighten it up. Okay. Where do I say start? Um, I guess where all the bolts in it, you can start from the center, start from the center. Yeah. Yeah, we'll start, we'll do that one, then that one, then that one, then that one. And that way we're just spread it out even. When we get to the end, we'll have to deal with it, see what happens. Okay. Okay, we're on there. It's just, I don't think it's going either other way, I don't think. But I'd like to have it on there completely. Then we can bang bang on it. There's an end there has to be done. Then I can see where, I can go get the bumper and we'll see where the bumper goes. I'm not sure, the bumper might cut over top of this and go underneath this, I'm not sure yet. Not sure yet, don't know. We'll see. Go for it. Right. Let's get you to tighten that up. I'm gonna continue on with this. I got that crooked as a ram horn. I got V for victory. Thanks for the for the face shield. It's nice to have underneath to have a face shield when you're underneath something, cutting and grinding. But other than that, I really like to see what I'm doing, and that's why I like to wear the glasses. I'm just gonna flatten and straighten this off a little bit. I don't like that, so I'm just gonna cut it straight. No. So we're really getting close, really getting close. Got to get this side put on, obviously. Just got to straighten that out, it's just not making me happy. Another marker. Just gonna make the bend on the end. Sharp. I just need a quarter of an inch on the bend on the end of this fender here. I might as well put it on now before I bend it. And It's not the bend that I want, or look, don't look straight. Well, then what I can do is I just take the feather wheel and knock it off. On the other side, it didn't look straight on one end. It's took the feather wheel, knocked it off a little bit, so it looked good. Now I need a little bend in it. Not much of one. visitor this morning told Aiden that he was a very well-behaved young man he'd like to see that <laughs> that's good that's good 
Makes you want to be stay, stay behaved all the time, doesn't it, Aiden? When you get compliments like that, eh? When I, when I was in here last night or yesterday, uh, welding this this piece on, uh, what I did, what I well, this is what I noticed. When we weld this piece of metal on here, we had welded the door skin on the, right here. I ground it off. There was a little a little ledge on that where the metal was and where the where the weld was. When I welded that on there, just on the other side of the ledge, the heat did not travel up on very far on the metal that's on the door. So that really didn't affect that. And it was very nice because the, the weld line that I had on there before, it seemed to stop the heat. It was almost like a, a shield for the heat to go up into this panel. And uh, I didn't realize that, but it did. It, the, I can tell by the reflection of the weld. The weld, the heat did not go up high on the door after I welded that. It was, didn't warp it one bit, everything went well. This has to be ground. There's a, you know, there's a good hour or two of welding that round. Uh, ground, I mean, to grind it. Uh, have to round these corners off. I can do that also. You kicking the gear around are you, sweetheart? Oh, she's kicking the gear around, boys. It means get out of the way. Uh, I can round this corner off and I want to round the corner off. Maybe I'll do that too real quick while, we're, while Aiden's doing that. We'll see what happens. I'm just gonna play with this for a second. Uh, can't get the other side on without the other fender fixed. That's where it's at. Just a sec, Aiden. Are yeah. you tightening this up right now, are you? This yeah. one right here? Obviously, you are. Are you right here? Um, can I... Is that tight now? It's not as tight as it could be. Well, I can't push it in, so can you loosen it off just a little bit? This one's going right through, I see. Yeah. You need a washer on that one. Yeah. Right, just a second. I'll give you a... I'll give you a washer for that one. Can you throw a washer on that one? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Whatever one that works. And then I'll pry that in for you. And that's basically what I'm getting at. I want to get it to fit the best I can. I see it's all bent up here on the corner. It's all bent up right there. Or maybe it's not supposed to, maybe it's supposed to be that way. I don't know. But I'm trying to find out. Got no, can you get it on there? You need that power. Uh, got her. All right. Yeah. Can you? Let's, let's, that do anything for you? Or is that screw you up? Or what to do for you? Well, no, get one thing. thing or, yeah. It helps uh, this, this one tight? Is it right here? This one tight? It's tight, but it's. Yeah, it's tight. Still? There. Okay, got it. Now we can tighten her up. Which we can get. If you need washers on any of them, is that one going to stay? Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Yep. Too shabby. Let's go for that. See if we can get the rest of them sort of tightened up and see what happens. All right. And well, they will tighten up, obviously. Sure, they will. Yeah. That one might rip right off, eh? But looks things. Yeah. Maybe you grab this one. Maybe put a. Do we need a washer on that? Probably would be nice. Yeah. Ooh, got me sweating already. <laughs> I'm sweating to the oldies. And I'm the oldie. Does that little tiny washer I give you work? That. Or is it too small? Um, I'll give it a shot. Uh, a little too small for this one. Size-wise, it works. Just need a bigger. Size uh, works for the yeah. Okay. For the for the bolt, yeah. 
we're just I use everything it's not before I go get anything so washers is something that we need come on washers. you want to look too do you it's a little big sweetheart it's a little big but I guess it doesn't matter as long as you hold it up on there yeah. I'd be better off bum, 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 bum. Huge. Try this. You got two of them there. You have to put on. Gotcha. If you have, if you can do it. Sure, you can do it. I know you can. And if you need any more wash, you're gonna have to get up and take a lucky poop. I guess. All the same size. Okay. That has to fit there. So good. I might have could have straightened it up a little bit more. We get it bolted on there. Get it looking like something we can. See that one, Aiden? See? Oh, it's going good. Yeah. Keep hauling her up. Huh? Keep going? Yeah, suck her right up nice and tight, and then we'll, go, then we'll try to draw that one up tight, I guess. All right. She's on there. She's on there? She's on. Okay. stuff. Oh, sorry about that, Aiden. Yeah, no worries. All good. I'm allowed to kick you anytime? <laughs> you get one free card. One free card. Let's see what happens. It's all bent down there, I think. Let's see what happens. Ah, this is quite a, wow, quite a storm that is, isn't it? Huh? Take the stuff over this cord over there, is there not? 
It's a mess any way you look at it. There's no, I don't think there's any easy way. There's no easy way. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Isn't that right? If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. I walk around blind with the glasses on, but I can't see close up. That's basically what goes on. Someone comes in the door and I got my glasses on, I can't tell what it is. Until they get five feet away from me. Oh, that's who it is. Oh, how you doing? Alrighty. Let's go back down there and try to cut that off. And the reason I'm saying that is because that's what needs to be done next. Glass and gloves on. Thank you. Thank you. That was the bottom of my fender construction. Uh, instead of trying to repair it, um, I cut it off. 
no sense to repair it. It's not going to do anything. I'm welding the fender to the to the uh, rocker panel. Um, does not matter if that's holding this or not because I'm welding it to the rocker panel. So what I've done is I've just sheared it off straight and we'll undercoat it from the other side. Basically that'll be the end of it, I guess. And that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. If the inner, if it had more integrity, yes, I probably would. I guess I would fix it if it had more integrity and it was supposed to do that. Yes, I would. So go down here. And fender bend up, bend up here. Straighten with my hand. Man. I want to hit it with a hammer. I think is what I want to do. I want to hit it with a hammer. And also, uh, to fix that inner piece, if I, if I take the, the truck off and I do not like the way that looks, or the, where it's cut off there, I don't like where it looks, I'd rather fix the outside of the fender just like a door skin. I'd rather fix, do the outside, do the outside and then make the in, inside match. So I'd really honestly like to do the outside piece first and then I make the inside piece to match. I don't care what the inside looks like. Not really. Um, I care what the outside looks like. So generally I would patch the outside first and then I would do the inside. Yes, you might think it's easier to do it because you can see it, but it, it's not going to be easier when you repair it and you can't put your piece on. <laughs> when you, you know, the outside is what counts. So I would suggest to always put your door skin on first and then put the, put the inside on. Put your fender on, then fix your inside of your fender. Make sure the outside is where you're going first because that's the main priority to make the inside of the outside fit. And by the looks of things, I might throw something in there after. We'll see what happens. There's still metal in that car. So what I'm going to do is, is, I think I'm going to plant this on there first and then make my fender fit it. And then I can slice it together. Slice it and butt it. Get the welder started. Just had to look at it for a little tiny bit there to make sure if I had to do something else or not. Let's do this. But something sometimes to get something untangled, I'm just going to. Take it easy trying to get the cords untangled because um, it, it can get you in a fizzy pretty quick. So just take your time, take a deep breath. That's what I'm doing right now. Taking a deep breath, getting the cords apart. There's a lot of cords hanging around, right? I got, I got to do that. I got to shift that gear, you know. I could be in the gear where I could rather cut it in half and fix it. I could be, but I'll just shift the gear and just go easy. Just go easy. Now I need a welding helmet. I want to thank Lincoln, Lincoln Electric for the for the welding gear. Um, their gear will start. The new gear we start using. We'll start using it as soon as we ruin this gear. Um, thank you very much, Lincoln Electric. We appreciate it. On the helmet, we appreciate it. And uh, I see a few people wanting to buy, you know, a plasma cutter and 
a welder and stuff like that on the on the YouTube station, go get yourself a Lincoln. Yeah. Go get yourself a Lincoln. It'll do the trick. It will. How you feeling, Aiden, about that front pan? Is it looking okay to you, or? Yeah, it's doing, doing good. Say what? Say what again? It's looking good. Looking Man, good. everything's fitting. I like in that nice. guy. Looking good, he says. <laughs> well, thank you. One tack, and the reason I say one tack, and look at it. one tack and look at it because you can still move it. Um, any more tacks than that? Once you tack two tacks on it, you're not moving it no more. Did you hear that, Aiden? One tack and make it. One tack. Take a look at it. Because as soon as you put the second tack on, you're not moving it no more. Does that That's make it. sense? That's the end. It's staying there. That's well, when, when, once you put that second that second tack on there, you can't move it anymore, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're. Yeah. Want to look it over? I gotta get up here and look this thing over. That's where I want that. I can bend the bottom up. Yes, I can. Get off. Keep her in place. Here we go. Let's cut one of the Weld it where it's flush. Where it's not flush, just push it in. Make it flush. a little bit more. One that's set in there flush, that's all I wanted. And that's what I got. No more, no less. Do, 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 do. Believe it or not, that gutter. Where it's tight right there, I'm going to hit it, I guess, with a... Okay. 
down underneath here. This is where I get to hit it. Good, looks good and straight along there. I can take a little bit off the flapper wheel if I want to, but that's the way it rock and rolls right there. We're covering that up. There's the ledge. So when I, what I was saying on the other side there, I don't know if my mic's in the right place or not, but I was saying on the other side there that once that metal goes underneath that ledge, the heat does not go up past that weld very good. That weld is a, is a curtain for the heat, I find, and uh, we're going to use it. We're going to use it. Uh, one good thing that happened there when I took that piece out and put that piece in, this fender got straightened out. If this fender was buckled out like this, now that that's been released and put on there, now I'm very happy with it. I'm going to get the air hose going. I'm going to move a bunch of stuff back. And I'm going to weld that on there. I'm going to take a look and see what Aiden's doing. See how he's making out. She's up tight all the way around. It seems to be, okay, you got that spot up in there. You can't, that one there won't go, I take it. That we have one right here, just kind of. Yeah, it's yeah, okay. Same yeah. thing on this side. This one here is just off. To okay. The side. Well, I'm a little off sometimes too, you know. I just have to, have to really. So you're tightening this one up here now? Yeah. That's okay. Right. Remember for next time. Remember for next time. Yeah. Start from your middle and work your way out. Way out. And that way there, you're not bunched up in the center, but your seat, you're fine. It's going up good. You're all right. It's just for next time. That's all. Yeah. Get that thing tightened up there. And then we'll go from there, basically. You know. We're going to have to go out and see it, get a bumper, see if the bumper goes underneath that piece. We're going to have to see. Going to have to see. We can look up an original one, maybe, that would tell us, because that's what's going on there. Uh, I want to pull back the grinder. Man, oh man, I'll tell you. That was one of the biggest things um, for for the for this shop uh, when we did the, when we did the TV when we did the show is to have three and four people using grinders, welders, and all that stuff in this in this shop. There was a lot of issues with things in the way and and you know tangling up and it was just it really was. Um, draining after a while, wasn't it? To move all the cords and all the. Ugh. I'm just one person. Aiden makes two, and we sure can make a mess in a hurry. You know, if you do not stop for a minute and clean it up, but I'm just going to brush underneath the car. I'm going to sit back down, get my air hose, weld a nice little piece in that, and then we'll go from there. Maybe what we'll do is when Aiden gets the front end pulled up on it, I'll take a run out, maybe see if we can find the front bumper, see what happens. But basically that has to be welded on. Have we got the air turned on yet this morning? I don't think so. Yeah, there's lots of grinding. I don't think I want to change the bumpers on, on 
I don't want to change the bumpers. And the reason being is it's because of the amount, amount of work that it causes. I'm hoping that we can get away with the original front and the original back. I'm hoping. I'm thinking that they're bent up. Um, but what on this truck has not been bent and fixed? <laughs> Everything. So we'll just continue on. Hopefully we can have some... Where's that end going? There it is. See, I told you I was blind. Put these glasses on. Running around. And it's tangled up, obviously. Going to get an air hose just or an air gun just because uh, without the air gun, you have a chance of chance of distorting the metal. I don't want to distort it. I know we're covering it up. I know that, but it still does not matter. Still don't want to distort it. I just want to weld it up and do a good job at it. Basically, what I'm saying is, if you don't have air or water with you, you have the chance of destroying the metal. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try not to disturb it and put it in and, and do a nice job at it. Now that I have the front in there, I know exactly where the back's got to go. When I get in there, if I want to take the wheel off and jack it up, look underneath there, I know exactly where the back's got to go. So I find it much easier to fix the front and then the back. We don't care about the back or the inside until the front's fixed. Do, 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 do. My other glove is underneath my arse. Got a, I got a Zen this morning. A lot of cords going around this morning. A lot of cords, a lot of cords. Just gonna spot this for now. Trying to keep the, the heat down to a to a none if I can. Or as little as possible. Must have had an antenna on it or some one time or another. Got some big holes there, but we'll get to them. I wait till the red goes away. Then I hit it again. Wait till the red goes away. Hit it again. Just like pumping your brakes. I always stir it on top of, of another weld. That way there I got meat to start with. I often wonder who's faster, me or John Wayne. Popping through.
All balls are on? All balls are on. Never cried once. Bolt it all on. Perfect. Love it. I love it. Good job. Let's take a look at it and see what's going on here for a second. Let's, let's cipher it over together. Um, bum, 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 bum. See this little thing here? See how it's not, it's not quite fitting there. There's got to be fill going on the front of that fender. I realize that. But, um, yeah, it's not bad over there. Fits good there. It certainly does. It's kind of laid down the front, is it not? Yes. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's pry up on it a little bit, I suppose. Once the grill goes in, I guess it would really help it. I'm kind of wondering if I took a piece of round stock and bent it that shape. Would it hold it up nice where it's supposed to be? I suppose the grill would do that. This is just all, like it just seems like it's, I just moved it there, like it's all stretched everywhere, doesn't it? Yeah. Like it's rope there, it's rope there. <sighs> A little coat hanger from there to there. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of took, if we took and uh, welded it in place, it would stay. You know, as we're putting that in there, yeah, see, see how we, see how we do that? We, if we took and made that and welded that in there, that would stay like that because obviously it would, wouldn't come back down. We could take a jack, jack that up where it's supposed to be, weld that along there. This, it's got to be welded up. I mean, we're welding it all together. This piece is not coming back off. I'm hoping it's not. That, that can be jacked up to that. I know it can because I'll show you. We'll just see what happens here. No, okay, that's where it goes. Ah, I've got that. I see what's going on now. And what I'm, this is what I'm thinking what's going to happen. Uh, this, I should go get the bumper. I'm thinking that the bumper slides over top of this piece. Oh, and covers it up. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It must, it must come, come around there and cover that up a little bit. It's got to because the, the bumper wouldn't have a, a gap in between it, I wouldn't think. So this is what I'm thinking. See, that, see, the, see right here? That bumper would slide on top of that and it would come around. And just slide in there. That's what I'm thinking. Um, as, as we have these headlight doors on, I've thought about taking them off a million times. Well, not a million times, probably a couple hundred times I thought I would take them off. And it seems like I'm going backwards if I pull them off. It really does. And I, don't, and I don't mind them, but I don't mind the other ones either. All I was doing at the time is I was customizing a Merc, not a truck. And uh, I wanted to change things. And I changed the headlight doors. And uh, I think that I should stay with it just where it is. I don't want I don't feel like it's necessary to cut them off. I think what is necessary though, if we, if we continue with this pan on here, we're gonna have to extend the bumper out and make this pan a little bit longer. Okay. You know, if the bumper fits back here, we should be able to extend the, the bumper brackets, the bumper brackets a little bit and just bring the bumper a little further instead of changing anything. And you know, if I start, we start making bumper brackets, then we're really getting into stuff that, well, we're just, making more work is what we're doing that's what i figure we're doing uh as as we have this on here see we can weld that along there where it's nice and tight weld that where it's nice and tight make a piece weld around here so we can get it nice and tight leave yeah and then just leave the bumper off entirely well leave it off for now then we'd have to make a new piece to go underneath the bumper so we'd bring the bumper out a little ways we'd have to extend the bumper bracket say that far however far to bring it out so we're I'm saying you'd have to bring it out probably two or three inches so uh, to make it fit here again it would come out this way further and go around so there'd have to be a piece on the front that would be extended so all this stuff in here would be necessary for the grill obviously and we'd have to extend this for this this out bring this out we'd have to cut this and make something go around ourselves and extend it all the way around weld it to this to do that
But this is what I'm thinking. Dun, 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 dun. This is what I'm thinking. It is where it's supposed to be, is it not? Yeah. It is where it's supposed to be. How about, how about we attack, maybe tack something there, get it up in place, and then we weld it in place, and we go from there, because um, I don't feel it's necessary. I don't feel it's necessary to mess with it anymore. It's uh, it's on there. Uh, uh, I don't want to take it off. It has been sandblasted. It's going to sandblast off. You've got a spot here. We got to fix. That's nothing. You can fix that here, or off or on, one or the other. It doesn't matter. You know, to me, it doesn't matter where you fix it, off or on. Just looking at it. Just looking at it. Level to you? Just about. Yeah. Wherever it's tight, how about how about this? Let's get let's get started. Wherever it's tight, hit it. Where it's not tight like that, don't hit it. Okay. So it's tight like that. It's tight there. It's tight there. It's tight there. You're tight all the way around to about here. You know what I'm saying? That's the good to go every inch. Two, 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 every inch. Two. We'll go around here. It's tight there. Go around every inch. When we get to there, we're going to stop. And then what we're going to do is we'll use this jack to get ourselves in place. Okay? okay? This 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 piece back here, like we're, we're not going to tack down here and try to get that done until we get the jack underneath of it and get it up in place. Gotcha. So what I'm what I'm suggesting is is to get your welder going and tack it in the places that's tight, and then we're going to go from there. Okay. So you can tack it. You know that one seems to be pretty tight up in there, tight, 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 tight all the way around. Wherever it's not tight, do not weld it, and then we, then we will do something about it. How's that? Then we'll do something about it. So you're more than welcome to weld wherever it's tight in the front. Maybe I should put something in there instead of that jack. So you can use the jack to uh, do your deal. Let's pull the jack out of there for a sec. Pull it out? Just pull, just pull it out. Yep. I'm going to leave that in there for now. So jack it up. You have to watch. Come take a look. Jack it up. Just keep jacking. See that corner where it's not tight? Yeah. Right here? Yeah, I'll push that Go up. for it. Yeah. So that's basically keep going. Keep going. Do you love me? Looks good. <laughs> <laughs> he don't love me. He just said it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's. So you see where I'm getting at? We'll make all that stuff tight. Can you jack it again? Just a little bit. Yeah. Now the car's starting to move. You can see that, can't you? Yeah. So just a second. I'm going to get a chisel here just trying to make that tight so you could weld it all right so I'm saying that you can go all the way around that, an inch all the way around that if you like. Yeah. Yeah. You can weld that up if you want. And you can weld that up. You can weld that up to there too. All the way to the corner. Okay. Yeah. So you got from there all the way to there. And you can just, and you can weld it up, go every inch and start welding it. And then we'll pr go around the edge and we'll start making and fixing. And then we'll leave that pan on there. We'll fix it on there. Well, we've got a couple of pieces, pieces to repair we do, but nothing to it. I have trust in you, Aiden. Go for it. Ha! Okay. I'm going to weld, finish welding this on. Get something done for the... What's going on? So the pan on the front, we're going to use it the way it is. I'm really, I'm really going to run with it. And the reason being is it fit before. Uh, the bumper fit on it before. The grill fit on it before. The grill is not going to fit now because I have this, these headlight doors in there. I'm going to have to redo a little figuring and scratching and digging to make it fit again. But we really have to get that in there and get it connected, get it fixed, get it stationary. Then we can get our bumper on. If it, like I said, if it goes in that far, I obviously have to just bring it out a little bit further. And we'll have to make something to make it go to that. So we'll put this on. 
And if it's not enough, we'll add something to it. We will, we will. We'll add something to it. So, was, I don't know if Aiden watches the videos or not, but I'm hoping that everybody was surprised that I did not leave that for Aiden. Surprise, Aiden, I didn't leave it for you. <laughs> huh? Everybody thought Aiden had some welding this morning, but I geared, him up, I geared it up last night. And I had fun doing it. I did. I had fun doing it. I also learned something about the weld mark cross there. I was wondering if that was going to do what I thought it would, and it, and it did. Panel is cool. Let's get back at her. Got it turned on first. Blew back at it. Fill back up again. A man and a woman come in from Shez to Cook today, and they were true fans. She was really excited to see us. Uh, they knew Aiden's name. He gave Aiden a compliment, he complimented me, he was just true fans, and it was, it was good first thing in the morning, wasn't it? It was good. When I butt weld, I like to start right where I've start right on where I've started before. Start right on one of them dots. Start halfway on the middle like that, so I don't have to try to bridge that gap again. And the reason that's the reason why I do it. I just start right on where I've done before and just carry on. I've got one dot right here, and I'm going to start right on top of it. Do it like that. That way, there I'm not burning through all the time. Just waiting for the red to go away. And then again. How are you making out, Aiden? I think I need a flapper wheel it off. You want you want to get some you want a piece of ground? Yeah. I'll help you. That's the kind of guy I am. <laughs> Thank you. You know what it is. I want to see you working. <laughs> Want to, what do you want over there? That'll work for you, won't it? Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. No worries. Remember what I told you. <laughs> I help you at any time, Aiden. Any time. That, but that person really has to feel like they want to help themselves before I'm interested in helping them, if you know what I'm trying to say. You need something to clean the metal up? A little bit, yeah. What's that? Just a little bit, yeah. Taking uh da 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 Spitting on your bed. That primer's terrible. That, oh, not yeah. to say primer's terrible. See you need to get it in.
didn't do so good, did it? Just a second. See if that get in there. Just cleaned up for yourself a little bit. See, we'll get in there. Here, Aiden, I got it. Bye. I'll get her. You get her? Yeah, I just take to turn this off. That, that primer's <laughs> vicious stuff, isn't it? Yeah. It is. It does not uh, like the weld go through. It does not weld good, does it? I don't want to take it all off again either. Not a chance. Not a chance. Now, see how it's tight right there? Can you smack? Got your hammer. Got a hammer, do we? Let's see if we can weld that on there now. Let's see if you can get a spot on that. Let's see if I can knock that off. Nope. Let's see if you can get a spot on it right there in the, in the corner. Okay? Get a good spot on it. Okay. What I'm going to say is, if we get the welder on here, should have cleaned that off probably. All right. Um, yeah. Once once you start welding on this stuff, do not move your your welder out of the puddle until it's really buzzing good. Okay. Really good. Yeah. Let's weld, let's weld along that seam there if you can. Go to your way. Let's take that. Let's take the jack out of there. All right. See this? Watch. See how it's down there a little bit? Yeah. Pull your jack right out again. Now walk along that s that front there if you can tight there now, is it not? Oh, yeah. Give her a good zap together. No. <laughs> just a little more time. You know what I'm saying? Stay in there, bubble. Uh, okay. just, just stay in there a little more, a little more time, eh? And ran here. Look. Try to get that one. Just stay a little bit longer, that's all. Get a little closer. Well, you got no gas. <laughs> that's what's going on. You got that no gas. <laughs> You're out of gas. <laughs> Alrighty. We're going to give you... That's what's going on. It's stuck, though. I'm hoping it's stuck. You can see how I'm tightening it up by just going on there, hitting him with a hammer. And to be honest with you, it's really going to be hard to straighten this out and do anything with it unless it's welded on. Do we have any another tank gas? Do we? Or do we? Huh? You can shut that one off, though, Aiden. Probably not. No, we need another tank of gas. What's this, sweetheart? All right, let's give away a hat or shirt. This is what we're doing. 
I'm trying to get Aiden to weld that front pan on there. I'm trying to get him to do it with a welder with no gas and with primer on it. <laughs> Basically what I'm trying to do. Um, it will work. Yes, it will. We'll just clean it up a little bit. I might even just hook up a little tiny sandblaster. We get a little tiny sandblaster hooked by there and just clean it off a little bit all around that edge for him just quickly. We'll open the door. That's what we'll do so we can get it off for him. Uh, we're going to get him another gas a tank of gas. I got a tank right there full of gas, so he might be able to use that one while we mess around here. All right, let's give away a hat or shirt. Take this off. So we're really half, we're really motoring along here. We're trying to get that front pan on. That's makes it look a lot different to me. Trying to get that front pan off, front front pan on, get it looking good, and uh, trying to get the other curtain on the other side. So we've got a lot of grinding to do. Me and Aiden can do the curtain on the other side while the welder's gone. He can't do the the welding on the front. So you can take over where I'm welding, maybe. Yeah, Paul, you can take over where I'm welding if you want to okay. on that fender. And then uh, me and Aiden will put the skirt on, and then there'll be all kinds of welding. I have some grinding to do and clean up the front pan. There's all kinds to do, uh, but that's what we're doing. Just like I am. Do I have to open up the door? It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. Beautiful day. Fina's working. She's underneath the car waiting for somebody to come in to ring the dog bell. Yes, she is. Dee, 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 dee. 581 comments. Gotta like that. We appreciate it. Jack Seller. That's who wins a hat or a shirt of their choice. Where I live, the coarse rock you brought in to level the container for the merchandise showroom, you've been listening, would need some kind of retaining wall, railway ties to prevent it from washing away and th throwing the container off level. Just saying where I live, or just saying where I live, yes, you would. Ah, uh, cool. We just threw some rock on the ground there to level it out. Um, it should be fine. I don't know if we're going to have any washing away going on. And if we do, we would fix it, as uh, far as that goes. But Jack Seller, you deserve a hat or shirt of your choice for commenting. And thanks for commenting. And thanks for listening. And that's exactly what it's going to be. And uh, we would make it as safe as possible. Yes, we will. Yes, I will. Um, obviously, we are not done yet. And we will make sure that nobody falls over in the container. Right? Yeah. God bless everybody. Have a good one. And come back tomorrow. You'll be surprised how much work we get done. Get to work. <laughs> cool. All righty. Let's get this going here. We'll take and uh, get the tank changed. or get. No, we'll get over here on this fender here. I'll let you do this. Okay.